dear audience you're all are welcome back i hope that you're all are fine today i am going to discuss a subject whose name is differential and integral equation and the name of the today's topic is the Volterra integral equation what is the Volterra integral equation dear audience the equation of the form alpha of x phi of x equals f of x plus lambda integral over a to x k of x t phi of t dt is known as the Volterra integral equation where a is a constant and an x is a variable that means the equation in the integral equation where one limit is the constant and other limit is the uh, variable then that equation is known as the Volterra general form of the Volterra integral equation if alpha of x equals 0 then the equation 1 becomes f of x equals minus lambda integration over a to x k of x t phi of t dt is known as the Volterra integral equation of first kind if alpha alpha of x equals 1 then 1 becomes 1 becomes phi of x f of x plus lambda integration over a to x k of x t phi of t dt is known as the Volterra integral equation of second kind if alpha of x is equal to 1 and f of x is equal to 0 then 1 becomes that means this equation becomes phi of x equals lambda integration over a to x kappa sorry k of x t phi of t dt is known as the homogeneous Volterra integral equation of second kind dear audience already we have known that the phi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integration over a to x k of x t phi of t dt is known as the Volterra integral equation of second kind and this equation also can be written as x of t f of t plus lambda a to t k of t s phi of s ds here I substitute phi of x by x of t and f of x is substituted by f of t that means here the variable is t and a is the constant and there is the function was phi but here is the function is x so this equation is known as the Volterra integral equation of second kind and the solution of this equation is x of t equals f of t plus integration over a to t r of t s lambda f of s d s where the function r of t s lambda is known as the resolvent kernel and k of t s is known as the kernel and k and t s is known as the iterated kernel and resolvent kernel is defined as summation over 1 to infinity lambda to the power n minus 1 cup k n t s and the iterated kernel is denoted defined as integration over s to t k of t u k n minus 1 u s d u for u more than or equal to 2 and the first it iterated kernel is defined as the kernel or that means k of t s let's have a look on an example there is an equation is given we have to solve it the equation is x of t plus e to the power t square plus integration over 0 to t e to the power t square minus s square x of s t s this is the Volterra integral equation of second kind so first of all I have written these equations and the general equation general Volterra integral equation is known to us x of t is equal to 
f of t plus lambda integration over a to d k of t s phi of x ds and its solution is known as x of t equals f of t plus integration over a to t r of t s lambda f of s ds and this kernel becomes here the resolvent kernel and resolvent kernel is defined is this and iterated kernel here i used iterated kernel and iterated kernel is defined as integration of s to t k t u k n minus 1 u s d u for u more than or equal to 2 and the first iterated kernel is defined as the kernel of, of the given kernel the comparing one this equation number one with equation number two we get here f of s sorry f of t is equal to e to the power t square in place of f of t we find e to the power t square i have written this and here you will find the one that means in place of lambda you will find one and kernel k of t s is equal to e to the power e to the power t square s square and the first kernel first iterated kernel will be this kernel so i have written here kappa k of t s is equal to k of t s and the lower limit of the integration integration is here zero so the value of a will be the zero since f of t is equal to e to the power t squared so we can write f of s is equal to e to the power s square because we need the f of s here we need the f of s in the solution that's why i find out find it out and i also have written the first iterated kernel is t of s is equal to kernel t s and it is given in this problem it is about t square minus s square and all of those equations I named as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's we go to the next page and we'll find here what is the k2? That means the second iterated kernel. You will find that the iterated kernel is defined as here. Iterated kernel is defined as here. Integration over s to t k of T u k n minus one u s d u. So putting n equals two, we'll find the second iterated kernel, and the value of s is not known to us, and t is also not known to us. So we put s and t in place of s and t. You will find the second iterated kernel putting n equals 2 in the definition we'll find integration over s to t k of t u k1 u s d u and the, the kernel k of t u is given in the problem uh, exactly e to the power t square s square but here in place of s i put here u so uh, in that function s uh, will be converted into u so e to the power t square minus u square and k1 us is given here in the previous previous pages you will find the k of t s is equal to e to the power t square s square if i put here s if i put here u in place of s then here s square will be u square so i write down that Here you will find e to the power u square s square du. But um, e to the power something into e to the power something. So we can add all of the exponents and we'll find e to the power t square minus s square because minus e square and plus u square will be cancelled each other and the remaining part is t square minus s square and I put it here. In the next line, e to the power t square minus s square, it is not the function of u. So I 
bring it out of the integration sign and the remaining part is the du integration du the integral of the du is u and the upper limit and lower limit i put here and after calculation we get e to the power t square minus s square t minus s that means t minus s e to the power t square minus s square similarly i'm going to find out the third iterated kernel and third iterated kernel to, to find the third iterated kernel i put n equals 3 in the definition and i find here integration over s to t k of t u k to us similarly i put it here kernel the given kernel is e to the power t square minus u square and k to the value of k to is here t minus s t minus s into e to the power t square minus s square i put it here but in place of um, in place of t i put here u why because um, k to t s is equals t minus s into the power t square minus s square so if we would like to find out the k to u s so in place of t we have to put u and putting u we find k to u s equals u minus s into the power u square minus s square so I have written down it here. In the next line, I write integration over s to t e to the power t square minus s square u minus s du. How is it possible? Because here you will find that minus u square and here plus u square. Minus u square and plus u square will be cancelled and the remaining part is the t square minus s square and I have written uh, it here that means e to the power t square minus s square u minus s du in the next line since it is not the function of u so i bring it out of the integrations and the remaining part is the function of u so they're doing the integration i find the integral of u minus s is here u minus s always square divided by 2 and putting the upper limit and lower limit we find that it is the t minus s whole square divided by factorial 2 and uh, e to the power t square minus s square i put it without changing and similar and in this way i find the third iterated kernel and third iterated kernel is here and showing the similarity we also can find the the n plus one iterated kernel and it will be the you will find the third iterated integral is here in case of third i put here factorial 2 and power is here 2 so in case of n plus 1 n plus one iterated integral we just put here the factorial n and here also n and the remaining part e to the power t square minus s square i put it without changing now we are going to find out the resolvent uh, kernel the, the definition of the resolvent kernel is r of t s lambda equals in summation over one to infinity lambda to the power n minus one k n t of s so first of all I put n equals 1 then I'll find this then secondly I put uh, n equals 2 then I put here you may ask that where is the lambda since in the one of the pays I find that lambda is 1 here lambda is 1 okay so if we put a lambda equals 1 then 1 to the power n minus 1 that means 1 that means no need to write it so only if I put n equals 1 2 3 4 5 up to infinity uh, in place of n then we'll find that first iterated kernel second iterated kernel third iterated kernel and putting the this kernel that means putting the expression instead of this uh, general form of the kernel 
we find e to the power t square minus s square t minus s e to the power t square minus s square and putting this I'll find this line and taking the common e to the power t square minus s square we find 1 plus this this and this and if you consider t minus s as a x then you will find 1 plus x by factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2 plus x to the power n by factorial n plus up to infinity and it is the formula of e to the power x so right we have written however e to the power t square minus s square into e to the power t minus s and using the formula of exponent we get e to the power t square minus s square plus t minus s now the solution of it and what is the solution we know that the solution of the Volter integral is f of t integration over 0 to t resolvent kernel f of s ds so the putting the function of t that means f of t in place of f of t we put e to the power t square and resolvent, resolvent uh, kernel was e to the power t square minus s square plus t minus s so i put it here and f of s is is a, is e to the power s square i put it i put it also here and doing the calculation i find e to the power t square plus t minus s and again doing the integration i find the, this integral and putting the upper limit and lower limit i find it here and doing calculation ultimately we find e to the power t square plus one that means the solution of the given Volterra integral equation is x of t is equal to e to the power t square plus one now i am going to show the verification of it that means either it is a right or wrong or given that uh, the solution is x of t is equal to e to, the, e to the power t square plus one so x of s is equal to e to the power s square plus one the right hand side of the given Volterra integral equation is was e to the power t square plus integration over zero to t e to the power t square minus s x square s square into x of s ds now putting the x of s here we find it and i'll find e to the power t square plus one but it is not the function of s so i bring it out and i'll find the ds the integral of ds is the s putting the upper limit and lower limit i find it only t so e to the power t square plus t e to the power t square plus one it is the function of t so we can write x of t so it is the left side since for the of t solutions left hand side and right hand side are equal to each other so you can say that the solution is correct dear audience i hope that you could understand today's lesson and doing practice it again and again i hope that you can be successful for solving this type of problem i will come to you again with a new video tutorial till then goodbye